Something that we have to pay close attention to going forward since the Fed seems intent on working with interest rates, namely trying to put them up higher, is what is M1 and M2? M1 is a narrow money supply. It includes money and coins and notes that are in circulation and other money equivalents that can be easily converted to cash, whereas M2 includes everything in M1, but it includes short-term deposits in banks, not CDs you'd have to break, and certain money market funds that can easily be liquidated. What's the importance of the two? Well, I think one of the things the Fed is looking for is the velocity that money can move through the economy. As you look at M1, that's already being circulated. You can measure how it's being circulated. But if you're going to bring new money in, you want to know how fast it can impact things. And that is why you look at the M2.